Hey guys, I noticed that a few of you are having a little bit of difficulty navigating the course based on some of the content of your emails. And I thought it might be helpful if I just made a quick video just to kind of walk you through the organization of the course. Uh, all of our classwork lives under, hold on, let me switch it on over to student view so it looks like how you'll see it. All of our classwork lives under this button right here, the content button. So what you're going to want to do is click on content, and this is going to have all the materials for the course. And you're going to want to make sure that you're looking each week at what we're doing that week, and you're reading the file in its entirety. So I'm just going to talk a little bit about week two, even though we just finished that week, because some of you were confused. You thought our whole essay was due, and our essay is not due until the end of week three. We just started working on the essay in week two. So I think if you click on these files and you read it it's in its entirety, it's going to help you actually understand what it is you're actually doing. Because I think a few of you just thought the content was in the announcements section. And it's not. We actually have a whole file. And you don't want to just stop here on the first page you want to keep on scrolling and rolling. Keep scrolling because I've got every little juicy detail that you need all right here for you to be successful. So for example, in week two, um, you are going to learn to demonstrate rhetorical concepts and engage in rhetorical analysis of visual rhetoric. You should have completed the reading and viewing activities. You should have completed the MLA tutorial. You should have taken reading quiz one. You should have completed the short writing activity, which helps you to develop essay one. So just a free write and brainstorm. It wasn't the completed essay. It's not right or wrong. It's just to get you started writing and thinking about your um, assignment. And so that I can also guide you and give you some one-on-one -on -one feedback, which I'm going to do this afternoon, so that you can then this week develop your essay. After you've had a little feedback from me, I can look at your ideas and go, hey, this sounds like a great idea. You should do this or that. Um, writing is a recursive process. You have to have a coach and I'm your coach. I'm here to help you in the process. That's why you can't just fly through and complete the class all in one week um, because you have to have time to stop, reflect, interact with my feedback. I've been teaching for 15 years, so I give pretty good feedback. And then use that feedback to help you write your essay. Now, I don't want you to stress out about the short writing activities. The short writing activities aren't right or wrong. They're usually going to be free write activities. I might even ask you just to make a list or ideas. It's just to get your brain going about the, the bigger picture so that you can think about some of the smaller details so later you can pull them together for the big picture. And remember, you can also reference the 10-week schedule to see what the big due dates are for the entire semester, okay? You'll notice that I don't have any, uh, our essays are due every three or four weeks, okay? I would, I would never ask you to write an essay in one week. That's, that's not a thing I would ask you to do because it's a process. We have to participate in parts of the process, then make sure you keep scrolling. Look at those learning materials. There are going to be textbook um, chapters that we're going to read. I might ask you to look at an assignment sheet. I'll remind you, hey, we're working on this for the whole unit, but um, I just want you to preview what the big picture is. Make sure you're watching the videos. Take notes just as you would in class because when we take the quizzes, they're going to be on this material, this learning material. This is the content of the course. It's just the kind of materials you would get in class, okay? And then underneath that, keep going, keep scrolling. These files are big, y'all. <laughs> they really are. And they, that's why they got everything in there. And then it's going to tell you, hey, you need to take this MLA tutorial. Then you'll take a picture of that PDF or take that PDF from your completion and submit it to this assignment box. And you can open up that box and, um, and, and submit the assignment. It's going to tell you the due date, um, all in there for you. And then it's going to say, hey, this week we're taking quiz one. Remember to review all the learning materials up here before you attempt it or you won't do well. Um, and then take that quiz. And then this week and week two, which you should have completed yesterday, um, 
I just simply asked you to do a short writing activity, just developing your essay. I asked you to think about um, the assignment instructions and just do a free write. There's no right or wrong. It's a free write. It's just dumping ideas out of your brain. So don't overthink it. I'm not trying to trick you. I promise. I just want you to get thinking about what you're going to write your essay about this week in week three. So this week starts our third week of the class. And by now, you really should be getting better at navigating the course. So I hope this video helps you. This week, we are actually writing the essay this week, y'all. Y'all just turned in that short writing activity last night. I'm going to put some feedback on it so that you have, um, I can see what your ideas were. I can give you some coaching and encouragement. So this week, you'll feel confident to now write that essay. So make sure you, again, look at the learning objectives for this week. Take a look at that cool task list because that I'm getting emails where students are saying, hey, what's due? Where is it due? When's it due? This task list each week is going to tell you one, two, three, four, five. Like what is due? When's it due? Where is it due? Okay. Then don't, don't stop there. Keep scrolling. Look at those learning materials. It's got um, a link to our textbook, a free textbook. Hey, that is not always the case in college. It'll tell you what to read. This week I've put in two sample A student papers so you can take a look at those. So when you do write your essay this week, you have an idea of what I think are good A level papers. I've also linked to a little presentation on sentence clarity. I'll try at the end of each unit to give like a little grammar bite. Um, I don't typically teach a lot of grammar because by the time you make it to English 101, you should have pretty solid grammar skills. Um, but uh, I do try to add a little bite or two in there just to help you improve some of those grammatical issues that I see beginning composition students have. You're going to take that plagiarism tutorial and then you're just going to work on writing that essay this week. If you need some extra help, be sure that you reach out to the Learning Center. They offer tutoring services, both in person and online. Um, just a fair warning, though, if you do decide to do online tutoring, um, where you do the Ask a Tutor, where you submit it via email, they do need about 24 to 48 hours to respond. So the papers do Monday. If you try to send it on Sunday, no one's going to read your paper until after the due date. Um, so that's how you navigate the course. All of the juicy, good info is here living, living in these weekly um, learning materials. So make sure you're clicking on that and you're looking each week. I know you can do it. I believe in you. Um, and I do post announcement announcements to let you know, hey, everything's available. Just kind of remind you which week we're in. But this ain't all of it. Make sure you're clicking on that content and you're reading everything. And I think that'll clear up any of the confusion that you're you're having. Have a great week, y'all, and just reach out to me if you need any extra assistance.